What a great question. And honestly, we're really guilty of not talking about these more basic concepts enough. So let's talk about it. The three factors of why super high performance shocks don't generally run a boot are travel, temperature, and the overall design. When you have shocks that have, let's say, 10 inches of stroke or more, accordion style boots have a hard time compressing without folding over on themselves and getting caught up in the shock itself, tearing and maybe limiting travel. And sleeve style boots will often bottom out on the lower mount on shocks that have really short compressed lengths, so they often can't be used either. Super high performing shocks are also able to survive super high temperatures as well. The harder you're driving your rig off road, the hotter your shocks are gonna get. And in fact, a lot of these super high end shocks are able to get so hot that you would actually melt a rubber or plastic boot right off the shock body. We've seen it plenty of times. But the biggest factor are those wiper seals or the small seal at the end of the body that, as the name implies, wipes the shaft and also seals it from the environment and keeps junk from getting in. This seal is made of a relatively hard material on these higher end shocks, so it will actually polish out dings and nicks from the shaft, at least while they're still in good shape. When you run a boot, fine particulates can still get in, and because they're pretty well sealed, those particulates won't get out. This means your shock shaft and the wiper seal are basically sitting in a bath of silt and sand, which is sandblasting it, wearing out the wiper seal faster, and beating up that shaft. We regularly get shocks in for rebuilds where the customer thought it would be a good idea to add a boot, and whether they went through a lot of sand in the desert or a lot of mud, Whenever we take that boot off, there's pounds and pounds of junk coming out and almost every time they need a new shaft. So if you're looking at a high-end set of shocks and they don't have a boot, don't waste your time and money adding one on. But if you want that little bit of extra protection, you can run something that's called like a roof shield, shin guard, or shock shaft protector. These are usually made out of hard plastics or metals. They do not fully seal the shock and shaft from the environment, but they work as a hard barrier to keep debris from pitting those shafts, especially on rear shocks when you're in four wheel drive, spinning those front tires.